In Iran, graves are being dug at an unusual speed in the cemetery in Qom. People in protective suits carry a coffin. Inside the cemetery's morgue, officials attempt to manage the situation. The government attempted to downplay the spread of the virus. But videos and satellite imagery reveal how the situation quickly worsened after the government's slow response. High-resolution satellite imagery shows a cemetery in Qom undisturbed in October 2019. On February 19th, Iran announced its first two cases of coronavirus infections in Qom. But satellite imagery taken shortly after the announcement shows that two trenches are seen in the cemetery. Together, their lengths are that of a football field. By early March, we see a video of an overwhelmed morgue and cemetery in Qom. Video from the morgue shows several covered corpses on stretchers and the floor of the facility. There's a box labeled with the name of one of Iran's well-known clerics who died from coronavirus. There are several key pieces of evidence in this video and others that indicate the bodies being buried are connected to coronavirus. People burying corpses are in full-body protective medical suits. Iranian authorities confirmed they were using limestone, seen in the videos, to line graves to prevent the spread of the virus within the cemetery. By March 6th, Iran acknowledged that the coronavirus had reached all 31 provinces. Videos emerged on social media of burials from different parts of the country. This clip was apparently taken in Sakhez, northwest Iran. The narrator is speaking with a regional accent. There appears to be piles of white powder beside the open graves. In another video, taken at the Bagrasvan Cemetery of Urumia in northwest Iran, there are government officials and men in protective gear at the site. We identified these officials because red license plates in Iran belong to government vehicles. While the Iranian government appears to have improved their response, the Iranian government's initial minimizing of the virus's spread impacts more than just Iran. One country's response can have global consequences.